Our next caller is Jenna from North Carolina. Hi, Jenna. How can we help you? Hey, I'm good. Um, so I had a question for you guys. I'm a fitness instructor, primarily right now teaching um, Zumba, Step, and uh, a core and um, targeted class. And I'm actually getting ready to start phase two tonight of the sp- um, split program. And um, just kind of wanted to get your input, um, listening to you guys a lot on your podcast about how to best incorporate these exercises and um, these programs while teaching classes. How many, how many classes a week are you teaching right now? Um, three total. Oh, okay. Uh, three classes that's a not, week. That's not bad. And you've been doing that for a while? Um, I have. I've been teaching classes for six, seven years now. Oh, okay. Your body's pretty adapted. I, you know, you're fine. I wouldn't add anything else. So I would teach the classes, do this map split, which is pretty high volume. If you find yourself feeling a little overtrained. Yeah. Honestly, I think anabolic would have been a better place to start. Yeah. You might want to back off and do like maps anabolic, but if okay. you've been doing it for a long time, sometimes, oftentimes people's recovery gets real good. They're pretty adapted. I wouldn't add anything else okay. though. I wouldn't do extra cardio. I wouldn't do any other extra workouts. Have, Jen, is this your first maps program? Have you followed anything else? It is my first maps program. I love weightlifting. Um, I used to do a lot of it when I was in the Marine Corps, and I took a break from it for a while and um, um, kind of went on to my own program a little bit. And then I started listening to you guys and just really wanted to jump back into it. And so that's where I'm at. Oh, so, so you, you I, jumped back into it with Map Split? Yeah, I would prefer. Yeah. So I, we're going to give you Maps. Well, we're going to give you Maps and a baller. I jumped back into it with my own program for about a year oh, and okay. then did map split. Okay. Well, are you getting stronger right now with map split? Absolutely. Oh, well, you're, you're fine. If you're getting stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you're getting stronger, you're, you're, you're totally fine. Um, and I just wouldn't add anything else. Strength is the best gauge. It's a, it's objective. It's, if you're getting stronger, you're probably doing a lot of things right, but I, I definitely wouldn't add more. Now here's the deal. After doing map split, you probably would benefit from going down in volume to a MAPS anabolic, believe it or not, just because okay. it has so much volume. Go down to MAPS anabolic, and you'll probably get great strength gains again. Yeah, I would have preferred her there. I would have preferred – if it was my choice, I would put you on anabolic right now and then have you go to split afterwards. I just think that okay. you – I mean, it's just, I just had this conversation with Katrina not that long ago because – you know, and to Sal's point, yes, you're getting results and stuff like that, so it's working. But it's like if I can have you doing less volume and we, and it's working and we're seeing great results, I would always rather that. I would always rather us doing less work for the same or more results, so we have somewhere to go after that because the the amount of volume and split is significantly higher than anabolic. So if I can get the same results strength wise for you with just doing maps anabolic that allows me to progress you better when you go into split than if you go to split right now and then we're trying to, then we have to go backwards as far as volume. I would just, I mean, we're all send it up. We'll send it over to you. So you have it. Um, personally, that's okay. uh, where I would like to see you first. But other than that, it sounds okay. like, I mean, the amount of uh, classwork you're doing, I actually think it's great at three, three hours a week is actually probably really great for you. Um, and it's not a concern. It would only be a concern. I think if you were doing that, every day or twice a day, every yeah. day. Uh, but the amount of, of cardio you're doing is actually probably really healthy, really good balance for you. And MAPS Anabolic okay. actually complements uh, that 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 amount of uh, training volume right now, and I think would be perfect. Yeah, I can't disagree with you. Okay. Right, that's a first. Well, thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it. And I'm seriously in thir- you know enjoyed listening to you guys on the podcast. You guys are no BS, straight to the point. And that's what people need. They need to stop reading on the internet a bunch of stuff and listen to you guys. Because seriously, you guys have helped me out a ton. Oh, so, yeah. You're welcome. And, yeah, you know, thank and, you. And Justin, I, I, I love his input because I know he was a huge Zumba guy back in the day. <laughs> he still is. Oh, yeah. he's, 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 I haven't <laughs> broken that habit yet, man. Yeah. I like to shake them hips. <laughs> I love Zumba. I've been teaching it for eight years. I love it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it looks like a lot of fun. I, I have two left feet though. If I tried doing something like that, I'd probably kill the person next to me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for calling in. Awesome, Jenna. Jenna. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. No problem. Yeah, you know, one thing that we have to also consider is that's why I asked her, like, how long have you been teaching classes like this? Like, you know, for example, and I, I always use this example, but you know, my my dad is, was a blue collar worker his whole life, and when I would go to work with him as a teen. And with his workers, like these guys had been working 
construction for you know decades. Yeah, they can do it in their sleep now. And, yeah, and it doesn't yeah. it doesn't overtrain them because they're just their bodies are so active. They're just so efficient at it. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, if I did you know eight hours a day of roofing or tile work or mixing cement, I'd be overtrained to shit for like a whole year. You know. So mm-hmm. you, you got to take that into account also. Is the fact that she's been doing it for so long, she's you know, her body probably doesn't really even, it doesn't phase her, I would, I would imagine. Yeah, it's really low, too. I mean, I'd st- even if she'd been doing it for a really long time, I, I might be a little more concerned if she was doing teaching two. I mean, I had, uh, I taught a lot of class, I taught a lot of, um, I coached a lot of clients that were instructors. And it was mm-hmm. always difficult with the ones that were teaching multiple classes a day, day daily. Right? Yeah. Well, like it, it was always challenging to get them to go through their entire rest period. Yeah. I remember having to well, kind of really and just to coach them, them on that. I mean, to progress yeah. them when they've been doing body pump and Zumba two, three times, you know, two, three hours a day, every day, like that's really, really tough to kind of, they, they need a reset where, I mean, she's, she's fine. I mean, what she's, what she's training right now is probably, and maps on a bulk, I think will complement it so well. I agree.